The coffin lid was unsealed and ever so carefully lifted off. They would purify themselves here before going up to the Temple Mount to worship God. An Israeli archaeologist says he found the legendary citadel captured by King David. That conquest allowed David to establish Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. King Solomon's tomb has been sealed for over 3,000 years, but it's finally been opened, revealing startling discoveries. But what astonishing artifacts and secrets lie within? How will these findings reshape our view of the legendary king, dive into the unexpected revelations that have stunned the world? Just think about discovering the long-lost grave of one of history's most mysterious rulers. Heading the news lately, a team of Israeli archaeologists thinks it has uncovered the tomb of King Solomon, the so-called House of David site, which has not seen daylight for more than three millennia. The revelation would mean nothing less than uncovering the life of the mythical king and offering an open window to a period of splendor and mystery long gone. Such a tomb of King Solomon could revolutionize our understanding of ancient Israelite history. King Solomon is famously described as very wealthy and wise in the Bible, building the Temple of Solomon in Jerusalem, and ruling over a flourishing kingdom. Evidence in actual history about his reign and much of his life detail has, however, been at large ever since. These artifacts of the tomb could be given a real base that would reinforce the biblical stories, giving new light to the historical truth of the legend. The artifacts recovered by the archaeologists paint a vivid picture of Solomon's era, full of sophisticatedly designed jewelry, royal seals, and potteries, symbols of a very high level of civilization within a culturally rich society. These artifacts do not only illustrate how rich Solomon was, but also give a clue as to the mode of living and the social organization that is visible in his time. All these artifacts greatly improve our understanding of the techniques and the real commercial practices on this early date. Israeli archaeologists have discovered what they say is evidence of a magnificent palace from the area of a biblical Jewish kingdom in Jerusalem. Another interesting thing in this discovery is the tomb structure itself. The construction techniques in the layout of the tomb can say much about architectural progressiveness in that period and the available resources for Solomon's empire. Such archaeological evidence could uncover the answers to long puzzling questions possibilities regarding ancient civilizations' technological capabilities and how they went about constructing such monumental projects. The findings have thereby raised quite a lot of interest and controversy within as well as outside archaeological circles. This, in fact, is a find which scholars tumble over each other to see in detail, almost inch by inch, with hope to learn more about Solomon's reign and the riches with which he adorned and fortified his capital. Its ramifications go far beyond archaeology and make an impact on biblical scholarship, historical analysis, and even cultural heritage. King Solomon's Tomb, a historic discovery. The tomb of King Solomon is something which, for generations, archaeologists and historians have been looking for, more associated with the very idea of a legendary mystery rather than with the historically real. This perception has dramatically changed thanks to one far-reaching discovery led by Dr. Eilat Mazar. Working in the city of David, the ancient heart of Jerusalem, she and her team have pinpointed what they believe to be the tomb of the famed king, a revelation that could dramatically rewrite the Bible and history books. As the excavation progressed, the team unearthed an array of interesting findings that give reason to believe this was indeed a royal burial site. The rest of the objects discovered were the elaborately designed ornaments, seals with engravings, and potteries of complex design, all evidence of the person holding a high status. It was not only that these artifacts reflected the sumptuous lifestyles associated with King Solomon, but they were also concrete confirmations of what had long been described biblically concerning his wealth and power. Researchers work painstakingly in analyzing such objects so as to piece together a better picture of Solomon's reign and material culture. But what does it mean for the interpretation of ancient Jerusalem and its place in history? The discovery of the tomb itself raises questions over what kind of rule Solomon had and how his times impacted the whole region. The different artifacts that have been found really show an advanced stage in craftsmanship and trade, reflecting a society with complex economic and cultural exchange. Further work on these discoveries will relate these different components to the overall story of the ancient Near East. The architecture of the tomb itself, secondly, 
enables research into what engineering skills were available during the reign of Solomon. The building and design features may give an insight into the technological capability of that time, which again would relate to the other monumental works ascribed to Solomon. Ancient steps have been unveiled at the renowned ancient pool of Shilom in Jerusalem, hidden from sight for over two millennia. It is in understanding these aspects that one gets to learn more about the available resources and the organizational skills necessary in undertaking such massive projects. Continuing with this fascinating discovery, the focus now shifts to analyzing and interpreting the data to understand its full historical significance, unveiling the monumental goals. What was believed to be the tomb of King Solomon was discovered off course from the actual purpose of the archaeological expedition to discover the palace of King David. Instead, they discovered a large portion of wall, what locals called the Cave of the Kings. This monumental structure included an impressive gatehouse and corner tower, which was dated into the period of King Solomon using accurate radiocarbon dating methods. What makes the find a great deal more intriguing, however, is that this structure actually aligns with biblical descriptions. The sheer scale of the discovered structure puts into perspective the grand scale attributed to many of the architectural projects contracted by Solomon. The gatehouse and the corner tower, indicative of a fortified and grandiose design, match descriptions from the biblical accounts speaking of the ambitious building programs undertaken by Solomon. In fact, such a coincidence with historical and scriptural records reinforces the supposition that this site might relate to the Solomonic era. The team of archaeologists has also discovered ceramics and inscriptions that date back to this very period, which have added strength to their hypothesis. But what do the existence of such items say about the architectural and political enterprises of Solomon? These ceramics are highly decorated and bear inscriptions, therefore showing material culture and administrative practices of the era. Indeed, their presence at the site does point to a level of sophistication and organization that would be consistent with the grandeur attributed to Solomon's reign. These could provide insight into the level of economic and cultural exchanges that occurred during this time, further evidencing how Solomon's influence extended beyond the immediate region. Deep in the Judean desert, close to the Dead Sea, are caves once used by second century Jewish rebels. They'd gone into hiding following a failed revolt against Roman rule. Accordingly, the architectural structure discovered was complex in design and its location, hence it indicates advanced engineering. These could be used to give a revelation of the technological levels of the time and how it was able to contribute to the construction of other significant projects at that time as part of the attributes of Solomon such as the temple in Jerusalem. These characteristics will have to be subjected to analysis so that the magnitude of Solomon's building escapades and their influence on the ancient world can be fathomed. The quest for royal tombs. A search for ancient Jerusalem's royal tombs is fraught with both historical intrigue and, at the same time, practical problems. The city of David has both rich history and extensive ruins. One would think highly promising yet daunting terrain for the archaeological fraternity. Natural and man-made upheavals over several millennia have greatly altered the landscape, making it more difficult to find and identify sites that could have been burial sites. These are the complex layers of history that exist, and their possibility of destruction or alteration by later construction makes pinpointing these tombs a formidable task. Besides, archaeologists are forced to work within the intricate political environment of Jerusalem, where issues of heritage and territory impinge upon the activities of excavation. The sensitivity of the region simply adds that extra layer of difficulty in making one's way through with careful planning and diplomacy in conducting excavations while considering cultural and political boundaries. Despite all these obstacles, the search for these ancient royal tombs has always been one of determination and resourceful methods. New technological and methodical advances nowadays gave fresh hope for the breakthroughs being made. Advancements in ground-penetrating radar, digging equipment, and historical research continue to aid search efforts, yielding new insights and possibilities. Archaeologists who dig deep into Jerusalem's storied past try piecing together the enigmatic puzzle of the royal tombs, pushing the boundaries of what we know about ancient history. It's thought they were from a palace built around the 8th or 7th century, just after the city survived a siege by the Assyrian Empire and probably destroyed during the Babylonian conquest of Jerusalem. 
The mysteries of the temple. Mount the Temple Mount has been one of the most attracting points for scholars and religious followers alike as a possible location for King Solomon's tomb. This is a common holy spot for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam that has great historical and spiritual importance. As such, it has understandably commanded its fair share of theories over the years concerning exactly where Solomon lies buried. However, the sanctity of the site and constant conflicts over it have rendered any deeper investigation of these theories especially difficult. The inevitable result was that other theories emerged which claimed that the tomb of Solomon might be buried either beneath the Temple Mount or on Mount Zion. These speculations are intriguing, but remained based on speculation due to the circumstantial history and sensitivities around the site. Adding to this difficulty is the fact that the Temple Mount contains the site of the ancient Jewish temple, meaning that any excavation or intrusive investigation into it would be regarded as desecration of religious sanctity. Moreover, the site has been extensively modified and reconstructed over many centuries, further confounding attempts at locating the tomb of Solomon within it. What are the other theories about the possible place where Solomon is buried? Other rumors have placed his possible burial grounds as far away as Ethiopia, or that his tomb does not exist at all. This again adds a different dimension to the mystery and reflects the varied, often conflicting narratives surrounding the life and reign of Solomon. These other suggestions remove the focus from the Temple Mount and allow a wider perspective to be taken when searching for this fabled king's final resting place. Yet, apart from religious and historical issues, the Temple Mount also presents complications. The political sensitivity of the site which involves several groups claiming ownership of its significance, further exacerbates the research of a potential tomb site. The political and cultural implications created by excavating onto or altering the site would be one that requires tact and diplomacy, and these render the prospects of any archaeological project dubious. And on the occasion of Jerusalem Day, ILTV's editor-in-chief Mayan Hoffman accompanied a tour on the Temple Mount, the holiest site in Judaism. Zedekiah's Cave Secrets and Legends Beneath the most bustling streets of Jerusalem lies one of the most mysterious sites imaginable, the place that is normally referred to as Solomon's Quarries, yet rightly named as Zedekiah's Cave, a gigantic underground space with a maze of passages and huge blocks of stone, the place in which the historical interest has been ignited for historians and adventurers alike. The connection of the king who allegedly used this cave as an escape route during the Babylonian siege further adds to the mystery and intrigue. Yet despite its historic resonance and dramatic legends, the connection between King Solomon and the cave remained a matter of speculation. Zedekiah's cave is in many ways a place which has coalesced much folklore. Among many such legends credited to it are stories identifying the cave with the Freemasons, stating that it was a repository of ancient secrets and esoteric knowledge. These stories indicate that the cavern was used in ritualistic manners and further contains obscure links with Solomon's temple. While these speculations add to the mystery of this cave, there is a shortage of substantial evidence to support them. Neither does it answer where in reality Solomon's tomb is located. Whatever historical importance the cave might have, its connection to the story of Solomon is mostly speculative at best. Could the cave's true significance be something entirely different? While scholars dig deeper into the myths of Zedekiah's cave, the complete lack of any tangible proof of its direct connection with Solomon also awaits them. The actual history of the cave, buried under the layers of legend, may have something different to say about ancient Jerusalem and its architectural feats. While the connection to Solomon remains a tantalizing possibility, it is necessary to consider precisely what this cave represents within the greater scope of Jerusalem's historical and archaeological landscape. Further, the mystique of Zedekiah's cave and its related legends speaks to the greater issues the researchers of ancient sites face. The intermingling of historical fact with myth often confuses attempts at finding concrete evidence on many questions. As scholars continue to explore these underground depths, they face not only the separation of historical truths from the embellishments of legend, but also the mapping out of the jigsaw puzzle that constitutes the rich history of Jerusalem. Jerusalem district archaeologist Ahmet Riem told CBN News it was clear such stones were, you, were used in the quarry. Debunking myths. Among all the interest in Zedekiah's cave, there is a need to discuss and put right some of the most common myths associated with royal tombs in Jerusalem. To many, it has been taken as fact that the tomb of King David lies on Mount Zion. However, 
Recent scholarship refutes this view and claims that David's tomb is actually to be located in the city of David, not on Mount Zion. This mistake has been partly propagated by misinterpretations as early as the Middle Ages, which managed to confuse historical sites with their respective importance. Recent archaeological excavations have shed light on these misunderstandings. These excavations conducted during the turn of the 20th century by Raymond Weil in the City of David unearthed a series of possible tombs. Although none of these findings by Weil have proved to link any of these sites to Solomon, they have generated continuing explorations. His research showed that the area could contain the tombs of major figures from the Old Testament and further supported ancient and biblical records, indicating that major burials were located in this area. To date, however, None of the tombs found have been positively identified as belonging to Solomon. Been deliberately hidden view? Some scholars have speculated that the place of burial was intentionally obscured to protect it from potential invaders. This now provides another twist of interest in the search for Solomon's final resting place, suggesting that historical narratives and archaeological evidence might be intertwined with deliberate acts of preservation. The fact that the tomb of Solomon was hidden to preserve it shows a degree of thinking and secrecy, careful to the intense history of Jerusalem. Recent finds. In the light of controversy and historical fallacies, Recent finds have come forward showing new aspects of ancient Jerusalem. Excavations within the city of David have produced some fantastic findings, including clay seals carved out with intricate detail. These seals, which date from the time of Solomon, give evidence of the complexity both administratively and economically of his kingdom. The finds indicate that this society had developed complex organization with a lot of wealth, which agrees with the biblical description of Solomon's rule. Adding to the discoveries mentioned above, the artifacts tend to outline the great reign of Solomon. The clay seals, inscribed and scaraboid in form with royal impressions, testify to a fully established bureaucracy. This level of the administrative structure only supports the argument for a strong and mighty kingdom under the rule of Solomon. Ongoing archaeological excavations at the City of David National Park in Jerusalem now releasing new evidence of a massive earthquake that rocked the Kingdom of Judah roughly 2,800 years ago. The finding of such artifacts significantly influences our understanding of the historical and cultural context present in ancient Israel. What regarding the search for the grave of Solomon himself, though? It is still a cumbersome process due to the considerable scale of excavation required for such studies. The City of David is a huge archaeological site with strata piled upon strata, layer upon layer. Every excavation may either reveal new clues or further complicate the search. The nature of the site requires painstaking work, done meticulously, in order to sift through historical layers while preserving the integrity of potential finds. Efforts are relentless, with a focus on deciphering that intricate puzzle that is the burial site of Solomon. While these recent discoveries help further elucidate the greatness of the kingdom, they bring into sharp focus the enormousness of the task ahead. Finding the tomb of Solomon requires an intense awareness of detail, a respect for historical depth, and the cultural meaning hidden between the lines and the strata of this ever-rich history of Jerusalem, with each newly discovered artifact adding one more piece to the puzzle. Scholars continue to unravel the mystery of one of history's most elusive royal figures. Was King Solomon's legacy fact or fiction? The question of whether the legacy of King Solomon is based on historical fact or steeped in fiction has always been a main point of contention among scholars and enthusiasts alike. While recent discoveries have tended to show that the kingdom was very important through findings of impressive artifacts and structures, it is not yet clear where the actual tomb of Solomon is. Some examples include clay seals and inscriptions with other archaeological finds, that could hint at the tantalizing clues of the wealth and sophistication of the Solomonic era. But they still have to come up with the final word on where he is buried. And until then, some of his legacy will be the subject of conjecture. Another historical discovery has been made in the Holy Land. Israeli archaeologists have uncovered two ancient seals in Jerusalem that are apparently over 2,500 years old. It would appear that the proof that Solomon's existence in history is strong but not quite complete with the presentation of evidence. An example is that the discovery of ancient stables and mines resembled descriptions in the Bible which tell about a great kingdom led by Solomon. It is the organization and opulence that testify to the greatness described in the scriptures, but just as much that is telling 
concrete evidence linking these sites to Solomon is not forthcoming. The grand structures and artifacts dug up so far add context to his story, but fail to resolve the question of his tomb's exact location. With each new dig, the researchers try to bridge the gap between the legend and historical reality. But how are scholars to sort out the actual historical record from the embellishments of these ancient narratives? In fact, the search for Solomon's tomb exemplifies this challenge. No unequivocal proof was found, and thus the accuracy of the biblical accounts is to be seriously doubted. In this respect, the absence of direct evidence gives place for alternative theories and interpretations, and hence, Though Solomon's impact on history may be great, certain details of his life and death seem to remain shrouded in mystery. Thus, King Solomon's legacy is, in equal measure, a blend of historical inquiry and legend. The relics and buildings that have been discovered do offer significant testimony for the sophistication during the period, yet they will not corroborate Solomon's reign as an established fact. Since scholars continue to reach back through time to ages long forgotten, the quest for Solomon's tomb continues to underscore there will always be something unknown concerning one of history's most enigmatic leaders. Meanwhile, the search for tangible proof persists due to ongoing archaeological breakthroughs and a tendency toward connecting biblical accounts with historical facts. That's a wrap on our deep dive into the shocking discoveries within King Solomon's tomb. What do you think about the artifacts and secrets unearthed after 3,000 years? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a groundbreaking reveal like this one. Thanks for watching. In a remote corner of Siberia, Far from the bustling cities and modern conveniences, a group of miners made a discovery that sent shockwaves through both local communities and global scientific circles. What they unearthed deep within the Earth's crust was not just a relic of ancient times, but a mystery so profound it challenged everything we thought we knew about human history and evolution. From the moment the first shovel struck something strange to the subsequent government intervention and cover-up, the legend of the Sul Princess emerged as a tale both tantalizing and troubling. Join us as we journey into the heart of Siberia's icy wilderness, where the secrets of an 800-million-year-old mummy lie buried in a coal mine, waiting to be unraveled. The Discovery of the Sul Princess The year was 1969, and deep within the frigid wilderness of Siberia's Tysol district, a group of intrepid miners embarked on their daily quest for hidden treasures beneath the Earth's surface. Little did they know that their routine excavation would lead to an astonishing discovery, one that would captivate the world's imagination for decades to come. As the miners delved deeper into the subterranean depths, their pickaxes struck something unexpected. A metallic clang echoed through the tunnels, sending a ripple of excitement through the team. With a mixture of curiosity and anticipation, they set to work uncovering the source of the mysterious sound. After hours of diligent excavation, the miners uncovered what appeared to be a marble sarcophagus nestled within the ancient depths of the mine. Its pristine surface, untouched by the passage of time, hinted at secrets long forgotten. Eager to unveil the contents of their remarkable find, the miners wasted no time in alerting their leader, Alexander Melligan. As word of the discovery spread, excitement rippled through the small mining community, sparking rumors and speculation about the treasures hidden within. With expert precision, Melligan and his team orchestrated the delicate process of extracting the sarcophagus from its rocky confines. Against all odds, they succeeded hoisting the massive stone coffin to the surface with a sense of awe and trepidation. As the lid of the sarcophagus was pried open, the miners gazed in wonder at the sight that greeted them. A young woman, perfectly preserved in a state of eternal slumber. Her delicate features, frozen in time, seemed almost ethereal against the backdrop of the ancient tomb. Clad in a gown of exquisite lace, embroidered with delicate flowers, the mysterious woman exuded an otherworldly beauty that defied explanation. Yet, it was not just her appearance that captivated the miners, but the aura of mystery and intrigue that surrounded her. Intrigued by the enigmatic figure before them, 
the miners set to work unraveling the secrets of her past. Who was she? How had she come to rest in the depths of a Siberian coal mine? And perhaps most baffling of all, how had she remained so perfectly preserved for countless millennia? As news of the discovery spread, it caught the attention of the Soviet authorities, who swiftly descended upon the mining site to investigate. Amidst whispers of government intervention and clandestine cover-ups, the true extent of the mystery began to unfold. In the days that followed, experts and archaeologists descended upon the remote village of Tizel, eager to unlock the secrets of the ancient princess. Yet, as they delved deeper into the mystery, they were met with more questions than answers. Analysis of the princess's remains revealed startling revelations. She was not only human, but ethnically Russian, her origins shrouded in the mists of time. The composition of the mysterious pink liquid surrounding her body baffled scientists, defying all known conventions of embalming. Yet as the investigation progressed, tragedy struck with chilling precision. Witnesses to the discovery began to meet untimely ends, their lives cut short by mysterious circumstances. Rumors of government involvement and sinister cover-ups cast a shadow of fear over the once thriving community. Despite the passage of time, the legend of the Sul Princess endures, a testament to the enduring power of mystery and the boundless depths of human curiosity. As scholars and historians continue to unravel the enigma of her existence, one thing remains certain. The discovery of the Tsul Princess is a tale unlike any other, a glimpse into a world beyond our understanding, waiting to be discovered once more. Unveiling the Mystery Findings and Speculations In the annals of archaeological discovery, few enigmas rival the perplexing case of the Sul Princess. Since her unearthing in 1969 by a group of Siberian miners, scholars and scientists alike have been captivated by the mystery surrounding her origins and the circumstances of her preservation. Through decades of research and investigation, a wealth of findings and speculations have emerged, each shedding new light on the enigmatic figure and the secrets she holds. At the heart of the mystery lies the question of the princess's age and origin. Initial estimates placed her burial at a staggering 800 million years old, a timeline that defied all known conventions of human history. However, subsequent analysis and radiocarbon dating have yielded conflicting results, with some suggesting a much more recent origin of around 200 million years. The disparity in these findings has sparked intense debate among scholars, with some arguing for a prehistoric origin, while others advocate for a more recent timeline. One prevailing theory posits that the Tsul Princess may be an extraterrestrial being, hailing from a distant planet with conditions conducive to her unique preservation. Proponents of this theory point to her distinctly non-human appearance and the presence of advanced technology, such as the smartphone-like device found buried alongside her. Hey guys, Dave Walton here, and I got a question for you. Do you think this is a cool old-school phone that's over 800 years old? However, skeptics dismiss such claims as fanciful speculation, attributing the princess's unearthly appearance to natural phenomena and the ravages of time. Another line of inquiry focuses on the composition of the mysterious pink liquid that surrounds the princess's body. Initial analysis suggested that it may be an embalming fluid of unknown origin, responsible for her remarkably well-preserved state. However, Further study has failed to conclusively identify its chemical makeup, leading to speculation about its potential properties and effects. Some have even suggested that the liquid may possess supernatural qualities, imbuing the princess with a semblance of life long after her death. The nature of the princess's attire has also sparked intense interest among researchers, with many noting its intricate design and otherworldly appearance. Made from a fabric unlike any known to man, her gown hints at a level of craftsmanship far beyond the capabilities of ancient civilizations. Some have suggested that it may be a relic of a lost civilization, 
While others speculate that it may have been specially tailored for the princess's burial, imbuing her with an air of regal splendor. Yet, perhaps the most baffling aspect of the Sewell princess's story is the series of tragic events that followed her discovery. Witnesses to the excavation, including the miners themselves, began to meet untimely ends, their lives cut short by mysterious circumstances. Rumors of government intervention and clandestine cover-ups abound, casting a shadow of fear over the once thriving community. Some have even suggested that the princess herself may be cursed, her unearthly presence unleashing a wave of misfortune upon all who dare to uncover her secrets. As scholars and historians continue to unravel the enigma of the Sewell princess, one thing remains clear. The mystery surrounding her origins and preservation is as compelling as ever. Whether she is an extraterrestrial being, a relic of a lost civilization, or simply a product of natural phenomena, her story serves as a testament to the enduring power of curiosity and the boundless depths of human imagination. As we continue to probe the depths of Siberia's icy wilderness, who knows what other secrets may lie waiting to be discovered? Only time will tell. Government intervention and cover-up. Unraveling the Tsul Princess Mystery. In the remote and desolate lands of Siberia lies a tale that has captured the imaginations of scholars and conspiracy theorists alike. The mystery of the Tsul Princess. Yet, beyond the enigma of her origins and preservation, lies a shadowy narrative of government intervention and cover-up, shrouding the princess's story in secrecy and intrigue. The discovery of the Sewell Princess in 1969 sent shockwaves through the small mining village of Javik, where a group of intrepid miners stumbled upon her burial site deep beneath the Earth's surface. Initial excitement quickly turned to apprehension as rumors of government involvement began to circulate among the villagers. Many feared that the princess's unearthly origins and the secrets she held would draw unwanted attention from the authorities. Indeed, their fears were not unfounded. In the days following the discovery, members of the KGB, the Soviet Union's main security force, descended upon the village, clad in protective suits and armed with orders to contain the situation. Eyewitnesses recount scenes of chaos and confusion as the agents cordoned off the excavation site and confiscated any evidence of the princess's existence. Under the guise of national security, the government sought to control the narrative surrounding the discovery, silencing anyone who dared to speak out. But why would the government go to such lengths to conceal the truth about the Sewell princess? The answer lies in the profound implications of her existence on established beliefs about human history and evolution. If the princess's age and origin were confirmed, it would challenge the very foundations of modern science and call into question our understanding of the world. Such a revelation could undermine the government's authority and destabilize society, prompting them to take drastic measures to maintain control. As the story of the Sewell princess began to spread beyond the confines of the village, the government's grip on the narrative tightened. Journalists who attempted to report on the discovery were met with threats and intimidation, forced to retract their articles or face severe consequences. Those who persisted in their inquiries were subject to harassment and persecution, their lives torn apart by forces beyond their control. Even the scientists tasked with studying the princess were not immune to the government's influence. Research facilities were raided and data confiscated, leaving many researchers into one of the newly excavated areas. This is an atrium, the heart of the building, with a series of rooms running off to each side. Was ...unable to publish their findings. Those who dared to speak out risked their careers and their lives, forced to choose between silence and subjugation. But the government's efforts to suppress the truth only fueled speculation and conspiracy theories, leading to further mistrust and unrest among the populace. Rumors of extraterrestrial origins and ancient civilizations flourished, perpetuating a cycle of fear and uncertainty that persists to this day. 
The true extent of the government's involvement in the Seoul Princess affair may never be known, lost to the annals of history like so many other secrets. Yet, despite the government's best efforts, the story of the Seoul Princess refuses to be silenced. In recent years, renewed interest in her discovery has led to a resurgence of investigation and inquiry, as scholars and researchers strive to uncover the truth buried beneath layers of deception and deceit. With advances in technology and a growing willingness to challenge established narratives, there is hope that the full extent of the government's intervention may one day be revealed. In the end, the story of the Seoul Princess serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked power and the lengths to which governments will go to maintain control. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of our world, it is essential to remain vigilant against attempts to suppress the truth and to defend the principles of transparency and accountability. Only then can we hope to uncover the secrets that lie hidden in the shadows, waiting to be brought into the light. Further Investigations and Revelations Delving Deeper into the Seoul Princess Mystery The discovery of the Seoul Princess in the remote reaches of Siberia sparked a wave of intrigue and speculation that has persisted for decades. As the years have passed, renewed interest in her enigmatic story has prompted further investigations and unearthed startling revelations shedding new light on the ancient mystery that continues to captivate the world. In the aftermath of the initial discovery, the Soviet government's intervention cast a pall of secrecy over the Tsul Princess affair, obscuring the truth behind a veil of deception. Yet, despite their efforts to suppress information, whispers of the princess's existence persisted, fueling speculation and conspiracy theories that linger to this day. In recent years, however, a growing chorus of voices has called for a re-examination of the evidence surrounding the Seoul Princess, challenging the official narrative and seeking to uncover the hidden truths that lie buried beneath the surface. These efforts have led to a series of groundbreaking revelations that have reshaped our understanding of the Princess's story and its implications for human history. One of the most significant developments in the ongoing investigation into the Seoul Princess mystery has been the emergence of new eyewitness testimonies and first-hand accounts from individuals who were directly involved in the original discovery. These eyewitnesses, many of whom had remained silent for decades out of fear or intimidation, have come forward to share their experiences, providing invaluable insights into the events that unfolded in the remote mining village of Javik, in 1969. Among these eyewitnesses is Mikhail Petrov, a former miner who was part of the team that first uncovered the Tsul Princess's sarcophagus. In a recent interview, Petrov recounted the harrowing details of the discovery and its aftermath, painting a vivid picture of the chaos and confusion that ensued as government agents descended upon the village to seize control of the situation. According to Petrov, the government's intervention was swift and ruthless, with KGB agents confiscating all evidence of the princess's existence and threatening anyone who dared to speak out. Petrov himself was subjected to interrogation and intimidation, forced to sign a non-disclosure agreement that prevented him from discussing the discovery with anyone outside of government circles. Despite the government's efforts to suppress information, Petrov's testimony has reignited public interest in the Seoul Princess mystery, sparking calls for a renewed investigation into her origins and significance. In response to mounting pressure from the public and the media, government officials have been forced to acknowledge the existence of the princess and the need for transparency in the ongoing investigation. In addition to eyewitness testimonies, recent advancements in technology have provided researchers with new tools and techniques for analyzing the princess's remains and the artifacts found within her sarcophagus. DNA analysis, carbon dating, and other scientific methods have yielded startling insights into the princess's age, ethnicity, and possible origins, raising new questions about her place in history and her significance for our understanding of human evolution. Perhaps most intriguingly, 
researchers have uncovered evidence suggesting that the princess may have been part of a highly advanced ancient civilization that predates recorded history. Artifacts found within her sarcophagus, including intricate jewelry and ornate textiles, bear striking similarities to artifacts from other ancient cultures, hinting at a shared heritage that stretches back millennia. As the investigation into the Sewell Princess mystery continues to unfold, one thing is clear. The story of this enigmatic figure has captured the imagination of people around the world and prompted a re-examination of our collective past. With each new revelation, we move closer to unraveling the secrets that have been hidden for centuries, shedding light on a chapter of history that has long been shrouded in darkness. Fact or fiction? Debunking and confirming the legend. The legend of the Sewell Princess, with its tantalizing mix of mystery and intrigue, has long captured the imagination of people around the world. But as with any extraordinary tale, the line between fact and fiction can become blurred, leaving many to wonder, is the Tsul Princess a genuine historical figure or simply a product of myth and speculation? In our quest for answers, we delve into the evidence, separating truth from conjecture to uncover the reality behind the legend. At the heart of the Sewell Princess, mystery lies the discovery of her sarcophagus in the remote Siberian village of Javik in 1969. According to eyewitness accounts, a group of miners stumbled upon the sarcophagus while excavating a coal mine sparking a chain of events that would ultimately lead to the unearthing of one of history's most enigmatic figures. But skeptics have questioned the validity of these accounts, pointing to inconsistencies and discrepancies in the testimony of those involved. One such skeptic is Dr. Natalia Ivanova, a renowned archaeologist who has spent years studying the Tsul princess legend. In her research, Dr. Ivanova has uncovered evidence suggesting that the story may have been embellished over time, with details exaggerated or fabricated to enhance its allure. According to Dr. Ivanova, there is no concrete proof that the sarcophagus ever existed, let alone contained the preserved remains of a princess from antiquity. However, supporters of the Tsul princess legend argue that there is ample evidence to support its authenticity. Chief among their arguments is the existence of eyewitness testimonies from those who claim to have been present at the time of the discovery. These testimonies, they argue, provide crucial first-hand accounts of the events surrounding the unearthing of the sarcophagus, lending credibility to the legend as a whole. In addition to eyewitness testimonies, proponents of the Sewell Princess legend point to the scientific analysis conducted on the artifacts found within the sarcophagus. Carbon dating, DNA analysis, and other techniques have confirmed that the artifacts date back to the purported time period of the princess, lending further credence to the idea that she may have been a real historical figure. But perhaps the most compelling evidence in support of the Sewell princess legend comes from the artifacts themselves. Intricate jewelry, ornate textiles, and other artifacts found within the sarcophagus bear striking similarities to artifacts from other ancient cultures, suggesting a shared cultural heritage that spans centuries. For believers, these artifacts serve as tangible proof of the princess's existence and her place in history. Despite the evidence in support of the Sewell princess legend, skeptics continue to raise doubts about its authenticity. Questions remain about the reliability of eyewitness testimonies the accuracy of scientific analysis, and the motivations of those who perpetuate the legend. In the absence of definitive proof, the debate rages on, with both sides fiercely defending their respective positions. In short, the legend of the Tsul Princess is a complex and multifaceted tale that defies easy categorization. While some may dismiss it as nothing more than a fanciful story, Others see it as a genuine historical mystery worthy of further investigation. As we continue to uncover new evidence and explore the depths of the legend, one thing is certain. The truth behind the Sewell Princess remains elusive. 
leaving us to ponder the mystery of her existence for years to come. As we come to the end of our exploration into the legend of the Sul Princess, one thing remains clear. The mystery surrounding her existence continues to captivate and intrigue us. While we may never uncover the full truth behind this enigmatic figure, the journey of discovery has sparked important conversations about history, archaeology, and the nature of belief. As we reflect on the evidence and arguments presented, it's clear that the debate over the Tsul Princess is far from settled. Skeptics and believers alike will continue to scrutinize the evidence, searching for clues that may finally unlock the secrets of her past. In the meantime, the legend of the Sul Princess will endure, inspiring curiosity and wonder for generations to come. But what do you think? Do you believe in the authenticity of the Tsul Princess legend, or do you remain skeptical? Are there other historical mysteries that you find particularly intriguing? Share your thoughts and join the conversation. Together, let's delve deeper into the mysteries of the past and explore the stories that continue to fascinate us.